Welcome to the Astro Therapy Podcast. I am your host, Ciela Winter, and I am thrilled to dive deep into the inner realms of provocative thought while discovering an array of astrological and psychological insights to accompany us on this quest of self-inquiry. Good evening from my cozy New York City sanctuary studio apartment, fifth floor walk up. And the benefits are many, including a skylight of which I can lay down and watch the stars or the satellites or the birds and sometimes the dogs on the roof, the sun, the clouds, the rain, the snow, the moon. It's one of my favorite, favorite things about this space, but there are many. And I feel so grateful to have it as a womb, as a cocoon, especially this time of year and the days leading up to my birthday, of which is today. And I don't know about you, but those days leading up to a birthday are very unique, are very specific. And I'd love to explore that with you today. So the question is, what is your wish Is today your birthday? The odds point to no, yet if it is, the happiest of solar returns to you. P.S. A side note. Many of you who see me for astrotherapy sessions have asked me what a solar return reading is. It is a reading that reveals the themes for the year ahead by casting a chart that is indicative of the sun being at the same degree as on your birth chart, which could happen the day of, before, or after your actual birthday. And I don't often share about this, but you can indeed shift your solar return chart depending on where you spend your birthday toward a more favorable reading. And trust me, I do take this into account when deciding where to celebrate mine every year. And as I mentioned, today is my birthday and I'm spending it in New York City on purpose. And I'm looking forward to this year, though it points to some intense transformation on the inner planes, which I love, and I'm not a stranger to, but I still have to take a deep breath. (laughs) It is also a year for realizing dreams. And I was recently geeking out with a new astrologer friend about our 11th house sons. And one characteristic that we both share is the desire to help other people's dreams come true. So apropos, this year for my birthday, my wish is for yours to come true. So please, at the least, let me know what it is. You can reach out to me, DM, email, what have you. I'd love to hear. So something that I've explored with some of my courageous clients, and I say courageous because you know who you are and why, and I digress a little bit. It takes some grit to want to explore the depths of the psyche as we do with the guiding light of the stars as a starting point through what I call astro tracking. These sessions are created for the bold who want to know thyself, despite the good, the bad, and the ugly that can rear its head. But hey, better to know, acknowledge, accept, observe, study, understand, comprehend, integrate, and transcend than not. The alternative? All of our inner work is just waiting for us, regardless. And I tend to like to dive into it when I become aware of it. I'm trying to let go after all. Are you? (laughs) Okay, 
So back to the exploration, the cycles upon cycles of death and rebirth that are happening in your chart on the regular. It's so amazing. Our birth charts are a life cycle. Your birth chart is your life cycle. And within it, your planets are constantly moving through their own life cycles at their own pace. And did you know that every time a planet crosses over your ascendant, this archetype of which the planet represents has an opportunity to be newly reborn within you? And here's another question for you. How do you feel in the lead up to your birthday? Which is what I was mentioning at the beginning of our conversation. I can tell you how I feel. I always go into a cocoon. I crave my cave. I withdraw. I sink into my inner sanctum. And I retreat from the world as much as possible. If you see me or hear from me prior to my birthday, just know I am excruciatingly and uncomfortably shedding the skin of my past year of life. It's not pretty. Does this happen to you? One reason there may be the inclination to lay low before our birthday is because the sun is transiting the 12th house from your sun. The 12th house is the domain of endings, loss, letting go, going in. Deeper mysteries calling you from afar to take note and pay attention, etc. So while the sun moves through this area of your psyche, it illuminates your unconscious habits, motives, and desires too. If you are willing, you can learn a tremendous amount about yourself in this lead up period. It isn't cozy, but it can be so deeply rewarding especially as you pop out on the other side. To ascend, you must descend. And the work you do before your birthday can very well catapult you into new realms of being. It is just physics, after all, or maybe metaphysics, to be more precise. Okay. <sighs> Deep sigh. The days before my birthday have found me a bit disoriented, super sad, very internal, vulnerable, sick, cold, isolated, and fill in the blank deathness. Time to resurrect for sure. And what better way to do that than by releasing my latest single? Truly, I am thrilled about this moment and freshly rebirthed. So let's go. I'm ready to share my song as a seed of even more songs in the future. Thank you for envisioning that with me, by the way. I really, really appreciate it. Because if there's anywhere that I could be on this planet, it would be inside a studio creating music. So please listen, enjoy, and share it with your people. Honestly, this is how new music is found and sharing is caring. And PPS, if I had a second wish, it would be to make music all of the time. Maybe if your birthday wish is for all of ours to come true, we will all live into our most dreamy of dreams. I love you and happy birthday wishes to you. All my best to you and please receive the peace of my heart that lives inside these words.